Namaste. This is Anjali. Uh, today we are going to do some postures to strengthen our leg muscles and then we are going to do one of breathing practices to actually calm our mind. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we are going to do is chair pose. Okay, keep your feet a little bit apart. Okay, maybe I can do it on the side so you can see better. Okay, again, bring your both hands up. Keep it joined together. Okay, now we are going to sit back, bring your buttocks back as if you are going to sit on the imaginary chair in the back. Bring your hands in the center. Again, try to hold it for a few breaths here and feel the stretch in your calf muscles, your thighs. Take a couple of breaths. Try to keep your back a little bit in the center, not too going forward. Okay, try to keep it as much as up as you can and then slowly you are going to take the left elbow outside of your right knee and open the chest, open the shoulder. So your right elbow goes towards the sky. Inhale for a few breaths. And we are just going to add one more thing here. Now release your namaskar. Keep your left hand down, take your right hand up. Okay, open the chest, open the shoulder, take hands straight up. Feel the sit in your hands, your legs. Again, come back in the Namaskar Mudra. Come back in the center. And slowly come back up. And come down. Feel the nice warmth in your legs. Good stretch your shoulders, your hands. Okay, now let's do it to the other side. So I'm going to just to switch the side. Okay, let's take both hands up. You can even look up, stretch your neck, your shoulders. You could stretch your whole torso, lengthen your spine. Deep breath in and release out. Come down again, sitting on the imaginary chair. Take a couple of deep breaths. Try to open your chest, shoulders, widen your shoulders. Now let's take the twist. Bring your right elbow outside of your left knee. Okay, look up. Over the shoulder, elbow going towards the sky. Take a nice couple of deep breaths. Keep sitting down. Bring your right hand towards the floor and take the other hand up. Okay, open the palms, open the fingers. Keep the hand straight in the air. Slowly come back. Come back to the center. And then slowly come up. Again, deep in. And breathe out. Notice your breath. Feel the warmth in your thighs, your calves. It's really good posture. To strengthen all the leg muscles okay so let's come down on the floor okay now we're going to do one more posture which is called a boat posture or naukasan which is again good to strengthen your core and your legs okay so there's two ways you can do this let's start Okay, so you're going to bring it your balance on your buttocks. Okay, so you can bring your legs like this and you can keep your hands like this and you can stay here if you want. So this is an easier way. If you have never done it, so maybe you can start from here. Balance your body Okay, keep focusing on your toes. And if you want, you can swing your legs. Keep 
key, let's say any abdominal area. If you want, you can hold on to your legs or you can release your legs and just keep your hands to the side. Again, keep it not too up, not too down, just along your eye level. And then slowly bring it down. You never drop your body, stay in balance. back and observe your breathing okay. now let's do one more posture which is there are name, multiple names for this one it's like a rocker baby so bring your hand in your elbow joint and hold it with your other hand and kind of you can stay like this try to keep your back straight and try to bring your leg close to your chest okay you can hold on to this for a few breaths again this is good hip opener so and good for IG band at the same time so you can hold on like this for a few breaths and then maybe you can rock the baby from side to side Try to bring your leg close to your chest and keep your back straight. Don't go too back, don't go too forward. Kind of try to keep it center. Okay, keep your face pleasant, not too st stressful. Okay, one slowly for a few breaths. Go from side to side. It's a really good hip opener stretch. your breathing you can bring your both legs in the center and do a little bit better by flapping just to release some energy get your legs feel nice and warm this is always a good stretch anytime in between your postures Okay, so diamond pose, so you are sitting between your two heels, your big toes are touching each other, again this is a really good posture to keep your spine straight. Keep your shoulders open, keep your chest open and observe your posture again. Okay. If you can sit properly in this posture, it's really very relaxing and nice and feels balanced. Okay, now let's do a Parmadukasan. So make a fist with your hand like this, keep it under your abdomen. Okay, okay, you take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, your back, and slowly bend forward. Okay, you don't have to go all the way to the floor, you just go on. Bring your chest on your thighs and bring your back pallet to the floor. Slowly bend it forward. Come back up. 
again, as you notice, it stresses your all abdominal area. So it's really good for your digestion. Okay, like this. You sit in Vajrasana. Keep your hand under your tummy. Okay, and then take deep breath in. Strengthen your, lengthen your back. And slowly as you exhale, try to keep your buttocks down. Feel your chest on your thighs. You can stay here. Again, don't round up the shoulder. And then slowly bring your foot down if you want. good routine to follow different benefits in different ways to your abdomen your legs your shoulders your back okay now let's do end it with the one breathing practice again it's called alternate nostril breathing okay so alternate nostril breathing is to balance your breathing through the both nostril and it helps you calm down your mind and it's very good for insomnia, it's good for your breathing, your own immunity to um, get your lungs stronger. So there are a lot of benefits to it if you can do it. Maybe you know, one or two minutes, morning, um, afternoon, before going to sleep. So there are multiple times you can do it during the day. Okay. Again, the way you do it, you can keep your left hand in the chin mudra, the index finger and thumb together. Keep your right hand in the Nasaka Mudra. So fold your first two fingers. Keep your last two fingers open and thumb. Okay. So take normal breath in. And then close your right nostril. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the left. Close. Open the right. Exhale. Inhale to right, close, exhale to the left. So this is one cycle. So um, usually if you do it four to five times, it will take most probably a minute. So depending on your speed, but again try to do it really slow. Try to pay attention to your each breath as you breathe in, breathe out, again between the pause if there is any. So just try to be very, very aware of your each breath and keep your eyes closed and just focus on your brain. Again, this is very soothing pranayama and it helps your mind, it helps your body. So this is a kind of complete pranayama for your whole body and mind together. And if you do it longer, it kind of becomes a meditative practice. Okay, so try to do it a few times a day. Okay, again, uh, let's do two cycles. Okay, just to get you familiarized and if you want to do it longer you can again certainly do it for a longer time okay breathe in close right exhale to the left breathe in to the left breathe out to the right breathe in to the right out of the left. One more round. your nose again after the breathing usually everything slows down your mind kind of feels calm so this was kind of uh, about 15 minutes routine uh, do it early morning first thing and it will regenerate your whole body and mind okay so again this is Anjali uh, hope you like it and do it do the session again subscribe to my channel if you like it share it with your friends and thank you very much for watching.